So uh, tell us uh, what inspired this film. Is it the, uh, the race relations part, or is it is it old versus young, or is it uh, is this inspiring just for the fact that uh, you know just just about friendships or friendships that like begin? Yeah. It's hard for me to tell. I think it's it was my helplessness in the situation we we found in 2015 when there were um, millions of refugees coming to Europe. Uh, and there were two uh, older stories in my drawer where, where I keep all these ideas for stories I might once uh, put into a, a screenplay. And there were two strange stories, uh, stories uh, which once in a sudden fit together uh, and uh, and so it came about it wasn't really uh, made up uh, you know yeah. consciously uh. tell us about the the audition process and how you selected the two two main actors for this film you mu it must have been a very uh, um, not a difficult process but a, like a fun process as well yeah it was both because uh, uh, in in the case of the uh, Afghani uh, Afghanis, uh, a refugee from Afghanistan, uh, I was lucky that at that time there was a theater company working with refugees right. and they had a lot of young guys there in this production. I could cast for my role and one, one of him was Bohan who is really unbelievably gifted and, and he, he's really an, an, a nat natural actor. Uh, at once I, one could see when I was casting him. Um, it was much more difficult uh, in case of uh, the the old man because we had to find an actor who is not too old to be able to 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 uh, to, to to have all the shooting days and yes. there is no scene without him yes. and uh, to have energy enough to Absolutely. to get through this but to uh, who is able to play a really old man on the other hand right. what he is in the, in in the play does, do you feel that this film also comments on, um, you know, uh, obviously old age because of the old man and and him uh, facing, you know, his, the last chapter of his life, of course. Yes, it does, and it uh, and it, it it's about the question at the end of one's life uh, if there is anything I could do for good at the end for 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 something that maybe. Uh, is sort of a redemption in a way, in a in a very helpless way, right. and what comes out is a very helpless result, uh, or a terrible in a way, or <laughs> or bloody <laughs> result. In the post-production part of this uh, this film, it it seems that uh, uh, the cinematography is very very nice and crisp in this film. Yes, it is. Um, we hadn't. Uh, a lot to do in the post-production in, in, in terms of uh, all the uh, of, of, of many special effects. Uh, the scene where the operation is going on, uh, it was all prosthetics, so we had a, a brilliant makeup art artist who prepared all this and it was very well prepared and we we, ha we, we could shoot it really uh, one to one, so uh, we had a, a couple of legs prepared where we could, could, could do all this amputation which is, which is going on. Uh, and uh, which, though it was on, on the one hand, we, everybody knew it is only plastic and uh, artificial blood, uh, when you shoot it, uh, it, it, it still looks as if it was real, so right. it was for both for the actors and the whole crew. It, there was a special tension mm -hmm. uh, still while while shooting it, without any uh, need of uh, to 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 make it up afterwards in the post. So tell us how does it feel to be here at uh, Toronto, the Toronto International Film Festival year. You're here as a director this time around, of oh, course. Toronto yeah. is great all the time. It's very special because it's really a uh, festival for the audience and uh, as if it was from the audience. The, you, you feel as if a Toronto audience invites you to come and not only the festival. Especially the Q's and A's after the, the screenings. It's something really special. You haven't got at many festivals, especially not when it's, when it's a world premiere. So you have afterwards... Uh, 
you have some photo shooting and then that's it and then there is the next screening going on yeah. but here you have really always the chance to uh, to discuss yeah. with the audience and even afterwards when you are waiting in the in the lobby or foyer of the movie theaters people coming by and want to start discussions with you sometimes even the next day when you rec recognize you so that's really great well, thank you so much for your time and uh, good luck with your film and all the best thank you for inviting and all the best <laughs>